this mixing masterclass, we're looking at some creative filtering techniques that can help finesse your mix. The classic filtering technique is the low pass filter with gradually rising cutoff. It's great for drop sections and allows us to build tension moving into the section afterwards. You can achieve this with a flexible EQ plugin, but as it's center stage, it's also a good opportunity to use a specific resonant filter design. This technique has the most impact when you filter lots of your mix components collectively. And although you can use it across the whole mix if you like, it also works best when a few key elements remain unfiltered. To that end, to get started, set up a submix bus with the filter inserted and route the required elements ready for filtering. Fine tuning the effect requires selecting the best filter slope if this is an option, and 18 dB per octave or 24 dB per octave are good choices. And also setting the resonance or emphasis to taste. In practice, the resonance allows us to adjust how aggressive the sweep sounds, and this is key to getting that classic sweeping filter effect. We've set ours to about a half. Try manually sweeping the filter through the section of the track you want to process. You'll find the filter sweep will not be linear and there will be key frequency regions you want to focus on. Use automation to fine tune both the cutoff and resonance. Here you can see we've boosted our resonance as the filter moves through the lower frequencies. Our next technique uses high and low pass filters to create a narrow band. This can be used for a telephone vocal effect or simply for a band pass style outcome, which we can use on other single instruments or submixes. Whatever the target, the effect works well as a temporary and impactful spot effect. In context, we're using the effect to add a four bar band pass section to the beats. By grouping the beats into a submix, we've set up a fresh EQ plugin solely for the task, and we can then use automation to bypass it when not in use. To get the precise sound, we've adjusted the filters and used a peak boost at about one and a half kilohertz. Finally, it may not be your first choice mixing tool, but the auto filter offers another filter based flavor and we have one particular effect that works very well in a mix context, either as an insert or send effect. Based on a classic mutator effect, this stereo panning filter works so that the filter cutoff rises on one side as it falls on the other side. There are various ways to achieve this. And if you truly want that classic smooth vibe, then grabbing soft tubes, excellent mutator emulation would be the simplest. However, with an LFO controlled filter, as long as you can set a 180 degree stereo phase offset for the LFO, as we've done here, you should be good to go.